So Joe Rogan made a video, uh, the, eighth, the Joe Rogan Experience 1315, where he had Bob Lazar on it. And the description for the video is, Bob Lazar is a physicist who worked at Los Alamos National Laboratory, New Mexico. Okay, well, technically, I guess, sort of. And also on reverse engineering extraterrestrial technology. So basically, Joe Rogan is lying in his description right here in order to back up the con man he is featuring on his show in typical Joe Rogan style. Okay, let's, let's just break this down. Bob Lazar is a physicist. All right, it's clearly Joe Rogan is putting this in here because he wants his audience to believe that Bob Lazar is some kind of uh, accredited physicist, that he went to college and he got a degree in, in physics. Um, and Bob Lazar says he went to MIT and some other school. I'll look it up in a second. But um, So Joe Rogan clearly is just backing up Bob Lazar's lies about this. But the truth is Bob Lazar is not actually a physicist. I mean, he might be like in the sense that anybody can be a physicist. You can research the stuff on the Internet and do some experiments and stuff you've got on the Internet and become a physicist. But he's not an accredited physicist in any way, which we're going to show you in a minute. He basically is just a con man. He's a liar that lied about going to MIT. It's been proven that he fucking lied. And Joe Rogan did not bring this up in any possible way. Basically, the whole episode was Joe Rogan uh, treating this guy like he's an honest person, treating this guy like he's telling the absolute truth, and Joe Rogan being fascinating, and then Joe Rogan recommending the guy. And he even tells the guy at the end, I don't see any reason that you would be lying. Thank you so much for everything you've done. People should check out what you're saying. So just bullshit spread by Joe Rogan. Let's look into Bob Lazar a little bit. Uh, like I said, this dude was debunked back in the fucking 90s, right? I'll look this up for yourself. Feel free to fact check me, please, because I'm telling the truth. Uh, you can actually see it for yourself. You go research it. I guess we could just look at his, uh, let's just look at his Wikipedia page. That's literally all Joe Rogan had to do. Now, Joe Rogan definitely knows he has to. He, he had to have gone up and researched this guy a little bit. I mean, I refuse to believe Joe Rogan knows nothing about this guy whatsoever. But he chooses not to share the information with his audience, which is dishonest. If he knows that the guy's lying about his credentials, if he knows that, you know, he's a dishonest person, if, he's lies, if he lies about his credentials, there's a good chance he's lying about everything else he says. I mean, why would you lie and say you went to MIT if you didn't go to MIT and then be telling the truth about everything else? So, but Joe Rogan never mentions that, never brings it up to his audience because he doesn't give a shit. He, no, he doesn't want you to know that this guy's a liar. He wants to mislead you. Because he just cares about ratings. Joe Rogan just doesn't give a fucks. Lazar states that he holds a master's degree in physics from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, and a master's degree in electronic technology from the California Institute of Technology, Caltech. Investigation into his background could not find any record of Lazar ever having attended either institution. So I've, I've literally looked this up. What he did was they've asked him, hey, can you, you know, back this up? Can you tell us who some of your professors are at your college? And he names two professors. And they went and looked it up. And neither one of these professors went to MIT or taught at MIT. They actually, one of them taught at a local uh community college, which Lazar attended. And the other one was Lazar's high school teacher. That's that's who he, who he brought up when they asked him to name his professor. So he's been proven, outright proven, to be a liar. MIT says they have no record of him. Uh, he claims that the government went in and they <laughs> they disappeared him from the record. They didn't kill him and disappear him from the earth, but they somehow went back and they disappeared him from the records at MIT. They somehow they wiped the minds of all the teachers where nobody there remembers him and all the students. And so he's a liar, basically. The guy's a fucking con artist. He's been a con artist since the fucking 70s. And Joe Rogan's just like, yeah, this guy's a physicist. That very first engineer got the technology. <laughs> And uh, what, it's so disappointing because wasn't Joe Rogan supposed to be the guy that questioned everything? Didn't he like literally do a show? Let me look. Joe Rogan questions everything. Boom. Let's see what comes up. Yeah. Fucking he had a show, right? He had a show. Joe Rogan questioned everything. And he had this guy on his fucking channel and he didn't question shit, man. He didn't fucking bring up one goddamn thing. He basically just agrees with the guy the whole time, even though the guy was so full of fucking shit. It was basically like, yeah, man, clearly you're telling the truth because you're not taking any money from this. Like, we believe the guy when he says he's not taking any money or that he doesn't want attention from this. It's all bullshit. Like, literally, the only reason anybody knows Bob Lazar exists is because of this UFO controversy. The only reason his company, which sells some kind of... Uh, scientific supplies, something like that. The only reason it exists is because people know Bob Lazar through his UFO conspiracy work. So to say he's not gaining anything, so I believe it's just stupid. It's an entertainment show, Joe Rogan. is just a comedian. You're not supposed to take anything he says seriously. Dude, I watched the whole fucking episode, this whole fucking episode. There was nothing about that that was supposed to be comedy. He is presenting this guy as a truth-telling whistleblower. He agrees with the guy. Everything he says does not challenge him. There's no fucking comedy here. He's not saying, oh, this is just for entertainment. Take this with a grain of salt. No. He wants you to believe this is true. And his audience does believe this is true. 
people say, it's okay he has these people on there without challenging them because his audience know better. His audience know that it's just a fucking uh, entertainment show you're not supposed to take seriously. Anyway, you scroll through here, most of the people are believing him. Most people are like, this is the greatest fucking podcast I've ever seen. This is fucking amazing. My veins are ready. Popcorn ready. Uh... I believe this. I believe this. Everybody's fucking saying how much they believe this. If you look at his, uh, also look at the comments on the fucking video. It's like, I believe it, man. Thank you, Joe, for putting this information on there. It's obvious that this guy's telling the fucking truth. So it's just, it's just scam, scam after scam after scam. And the problem is people are like, Dusty, it's okay that Joe Rogan has these people on there and doesn't debunk them and presents them as somebody who's telling the truth because the audience will go out and research it. It's okay for Joe Rogan to present anything he wants to. It's not his responsibility to make sure he puts on truthful information. He can say whatever he wants, and it's in its audience that has to go out there and research everything, and that's the way it works. That's the open marketplace of ideas. But no, that's not how it fucking works, dude. The fucking marketplace of ideas is bullshit. The average viewer does not go out there and research anything after Joe Rogan gets done with this show to find out this guy's a lying piece of shit. It's up to Joe Rogan to present his audience the information in a truthful way matter right it's up to joe rogan to say hey you know this guy has been debunked it's proven that he lied about going to mit and caltech you know so you guys should take everything he says with a grain of salt instead what he does is he outright lies he's a physicist who reverse engineered extraterrestrial technology just lying to cover up for the con man he has on his show who is spreading bullshit and misinformation and let's listen to the very end here and we'll see how how just shitty joe rogan is as a Interviewer, commentator, public uh, d- d- disseminator of information, just every way sucks. Well, um, I know that you have paid a huge personal cost to get this information out. Yeah, you paid a huge personal cost. You have a successful company now because of it, and you're on the Joe Rogan show having your ass kissed by millions of people. Oh, my God, poor baby. And, I mean, maybe you didn't understand what that cost would have been when you first initially Lied. came forward with the story. But over the past 30 years, it's been immense. It's been great. And I, I just want to thank you for that. And thank you for all, all these people that would not have gotten this information and would not have really had this story any other way. Oh, thanks, Joe. Thank you. So sad, Joe Rogan. Not skeptical whatsoever. People are like, what does it matter what Joe Rogan has on there? Well, the problem is, is Joe Rogan has the largest podcast in the world right now. He has a giant fucking platform. So... I don't give a shit what you say. Lots of people are like, Joe Rogan has no fucking responsibility for what he puts on his show. Bullshit. Yes, he does. Everybody has a responsibility for what they put on the platform. I have a responsibility for what I put on my platform. And as a moral human being who wants to decide to advance in the correct direction, I feel like my responsibility is not to put shit on my platform that could misinform the community. I feel like I have a responsibility not to spread bullshit. And when I do accidentally spread bullshit, I have a responsibility to immediately correct the record. And uh, Joe Rogan fails at his responsibility at every fucking turn. He does this over and over again. He did this when he let Jordan Peterson on his show to lie about Bill C-16, which directly led to incredible hate against trans people. He did this when he let Ted Nugent on his show to lie about veganism, which led to hate and misinformation about vegans. He does this time and fucking time again. This is Joe Rogan's MO, and he does need to be called out about it. People say, it doesn't matter what Joe Rogan says. Yes. Yes, it matters what Joe Rogan says. Joe Rogan is an influencer. He influences people. He influenced fucking me. Joe Rogan influenced me. Like, people know I used to be a doom, doomsday prepper. I uh, sold a really nice house in Wichita, Kansas, and I moved out into the Ozark Mountains on a 40-acre farm, and I set up like an off-grid organic farm. And one of the reasons I did that is because I listened to Alex Jones every single day for three hours, and I became very paranoid. And one of the reasons, one of the main reasons I trusted Alex Jones and listened to him is because repeatedly he had Joe Rogan, who I was a fan of, on his podcast, and Joe Rogan was backing all this shit up. And I was like, well, Joe Rogan's a cool guy. He's smart. If he's backing all this shit up, it must be true. There must be something to it. Now, look, I don't blame Joe Rogan or Alex Jones for what I did. That's obviously my decision. I was stupid. I was misled by people. I take full responsibility for that. But do they deserve to be called out for lying and misleading people? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And the sad thing is, is you look at the fucking uh, dislikes in this video. Before it started, it had more dislikes than likes already. People are shitting on me hard for calling this stuff out. That's how sad the skeptic community has gotten. This is the, the exact type of shit the skeptic community was created to fight. This is the exact type of shit it was created to destroy. And now people are literally mad at me for even talking about it. For calling out Joe Rogan for literally, specifically lying about a con man's credentials in order to prop up this con man for his audience. 
the exact sort of dirty, nasty, lying bullshit that this community was created to destroy. And I'm the bad guy for even fucking pointing it out because Joe Rogan's a comedian and nobody has any responsibility for anything they do on their channel. And blah. It's, just, it's just stupid, people. Yes, Joe Rogan has a responsibility. And they're like, well, what does it hurt? What, if it's, what does it hurt if Joe Rogan puts his uh, weight behind this guy and tells his honesty he thinks the guy's telling the truth? Who's that hurt if Joe Rogan has influenced the people to believe this? Well, it, imagine if you were made to believe that aliens actually existed in the world and the government was covering it up and the government was so powerful that they could literally erase you from your college that you went to, erase you from anybody remembering you went there. Imagine if you were made to believe that. Imagine the worldview you would have if you believed that. It would make you, for one... It pushes people towards conservatism, pushes people to the right because it makes you incredibly fearful of the government. At, at a time where lefties like me were just trying to get stuff like universal health care, so 45,000 Americans don't die from lack of health care every year. You know, just reasonable stuff like Wall Street reforms and environmental reforms, shit like that. Issues that are incredibly important literally could be the most important thing in the history of mankind. But... Instead, Joe Rogan is fucking distracting people and lying to them with bullshit like this and making them paranoid about the government where they're more likely to vote against their own best interests, which happens repeatedly over and over again. Yes, influencers have an influence on people, and they are responsible for that fucking influence. I don't care if you agree with me or not, you're wrong. And Joe Rogan, like I said, he's just he's being a piece of shit here. He, he continuously does this. He does not give a fuck what the truth is. He's just trying to put on a entertaining show to make as much money as he fucking can, and to me... You know, that's irresponsible. Unhelpful. That's the word I'm looking for. Incredibly unhelpful. Suboptimal. <laughs>